Hey there YouTube, this is SJM4306 and today you can see I have my rubber glove on. Well, one of them. Anyway, um, this is a video that I've been meaning to do for a while. So since getting one of these uh, Sony players, you can see it has a very nice uh, OLED backlight. And I've seen a lot of uh, pictures and whatnot of um, the different models. They have uh, different colored lenses on. Um, this one's silver, you can see here. It's nice and uh, shiny and reflective. But um, I kind of always wanted uh, one of the darker uh, tinted lenses with the uh, different colored displays. Now, I'm pretty sure most of these displays, uh, most of these MP3 players use the exact same OLED display. It's sort of this uh, whitish, bluish green color. And um, I thought that it would be cool uh, to buy some of these uh, clear color gel filters. And these are made for kind of uh, photography. Um, if you have like overhead lights, you'd put this over the light and it would tint the color. Uh, so I thought it would be pretty cool to cut off a small slice. I've already opened this before and I've done a teardown. So I know exactly how to open up without damaging anything. And put it over the uh, display to see what color it would uh, come out as. So I'm just going to turn this guy on. And, um, you know, we'll get it focused. There we go. And just show you guys... Uh, Give me a sec. Let me grab a USB cable so it'll at least stay on. Okay, so I have a USB cable going to a battery bank so that the display doesn't keep shutting off. I know I could change the setting, but eh, don't care that much. Okay, so it'll always say, it'll always have this battery icon now, so I can leave that up. So we can just kind of look what the uh, display would look like. Um, with this gel yellow filter, it looks... Um, Kind of yellowish, it's not coming across on the camera very well, but in real life, it, it does look actually pretty yellow. That's pretty cool. Uh, some of these filters, they, they, I, I got a whole pack of them um, for about, I think, a dollar or two. And it comes in all sorts of colors, all different shades, uh, mostly greens and some like purplish blue colors too. This is really cool. This is kind of like a, a darker emerald green. Now, depending on the color, it'll make the display a little dimmer or a little lighter. Uh, depending on what it's uh, blocking and how like dark the shade is. This actually looks pretty cool. I, I like this uh, green color. There's also some aqua colors um, that'll change the shade a little bit more uh, greenish, uh, greenish bluish. And this looks pretty cool. Not too different from uh, the original shade though. You can see there a little bit of a difference. And we can go back to, you know, the lighter green shade and you can see just what the difference in that would be. Uh, it comes across a little, it's it's pretty subtle, but in real life, you know, with my own two eyes right in front of me, it looks a little bit of a difference than on camera. Here you can see yellow definitely uh, shades it quite a bit uh, yellow there, and that looks pretty nice. And blue, I think blue I personally prefer kind of the most. Um, it gives it kind of a nice, uh, you know, deeper blue color. And I think I'm going to go for either either green or blue. I'm going to cut out a couple strips and um, test them out right, right when it's actually underneath the uh, piece of plastic there and see how that looks. But yeah, definitely green or blue I think I'm going to go with for now. I can always uh, customize and change the colors up. Yellow is actually, I think, the brightest um, because it's it has less um, color filtering from like the original shade of color there. But yeah, I think actually yellow probably would look the nicest in terms of uh, indirect sunlight. But I, I prefer yellow or a green-blue color. So let's uh, pop this guy open. So we can see kind of how big of a sheet we need to cut. And make sure you don't lose the... Um, USB protective bit. So, um, I guess I'm going to cut a blue strip, and it looks like lengthwise, um, I can just snip off this entire end and it'll about do the job. Now, these sheets actually have two uh, protective films on it. You can kind of see it peeling off here. And um, that's perfect, actually. I, I uh, definitely like that. So we're going to snip off just a wee bit off the side here. Don't want too much overhang. Um, 
because plastic and stuff has to go over it. So yeah, that looks good enough. That'll probably do just fine. You can kind of see it tints the uh, glass screen too. Ta-da, there it goes. So one side is glossy and one side is kind of matte. I'm probably gonna put the matte side uh, face down so it doesn't blur the display too much, hopefully not. Wow, that looks, that looked really nice. Look at that. That, I, I really like that green color actually. That is pretty cool. Let me just plug it in so it stops turning off. And yeah, you can see that it's just, it's green now. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty darn cool. Let me cut out all the other different colors and just to see how they look because it's so easy and quick to do this. So I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so I put the yellow filter on. Let's see how that looks. That's pretty cool, actually. I do definitely like that. Oh. Yeah, you can see it's kind of glowing yellow now. That's pretty cool. Now let's just shove the blue one on. Yeah, that looks pretty cool, actually, the blue. It's it's actually a bit dimmer, so in terms of brightness, yellow is the the brightest, then green, then I would say blue, but that might just be because um, our eyes are less sensitive to uh, blue light than it is to green yellow lights. So anyway, so yeah, um, I can shove that back on battery. There we go, and you can see beauty. So yeah, these uh, players are pretty expensive. And it seems to me that um, the silver ones are more available, I guess. Uh, people tend to collect, I guess, the different colored ones. And I don't really see listings on eBay for too often. And they tend to be, um, I think, the earlier models. Uh, I think this is the 500 series. Yeah, E507. And the, uh, the ones with the different colored shells are from the 400 series, which have less memory and for some reason they cost more. So yeah, I wanted to get one of those, um, ended up getting this one now, and yeah, so the easiest way to actually go about coloring them is using these uh, camera color filters, um, which only cost me, I think, not even $2 with free shipping. Uh, so yeah, anyway, this looks pretty good. I think I'm going to kind of leave it like this and actually use it. Uh, because I really like these uh, different colored displays. It looks pretty cool, just like floating underneath the glass. Anyway, I just want to make a quick video. And um, if you guys are interested in these displays, you can just Google um, uh, NWE and then either 50 something or 40 something. Those are like the two different uh, model I believe that they had a 600 series too or something, which is newer than this one even. The 400 series doesn't have the FM radio, 500 does, 600 I believe does, and it comes in a two gigabyte capacity. Uh, as of the writing uh, or making of this video though, I think there's only one 600 series two gigabyte player up on eBay, the uh, US eBay site, and the guy wants like 600 bucks for it, which is absolutely ridiculous. He is, he is out of his damn mind. Anyway, <laughs> I didn't want to rant on that, but I guess I am going to. Um, but anyway, yeah, if you have one of these players and you want to spruce it up a bit, um, you can get these colored uh, filter papers and kind of turn it into a slightly different looking player. That is pretty neat there. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and uh, I just wanted to do something quick that looked really cool, I think. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.